um, I don't know. I feel like that's that's severely, you know, mis misunderstood, misinterpreted, um, highly underestimated, um, all of it, all the above, not talked about, all that, you know, and it's like, we're killing ourselves out here thinking that, you know, all of our ancestors were out here with, you know, spears getting ready to attack at any given moment, you know, like, that's literally all we were about, you know what I mean, like, even our own people think that, you know, um, and I'm not saying, like, all of us, you know, some of us know, you know, and I'm not saying that it's wrong for people to only know that part of us because because of the fact that we were misplaced because of the fact that you know colonization happened to us this is the result of that this makes complete sense that this is the way it is but i just wanted to highlight the fact that yes a lot of our people and other people have this misconception um, and separate themselves from the spiritual aspect of who we are very, very heavily. And it's very, very, um, not thought of, not spoken of, um, not, uh, oppressed. Yes, oppressed, but like, um, you know, suppressed. Yeah. So it's like, we could powwow all day long and blah, 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 no one, no one has a problem with that, that's normal, that's, that's normal indigenous spirituality, right, um, where you could practice your dances and everything like that, you know, to smudge, that's normal, um, to do sweat lodges, that's normal, but even then, we don't talk about the things that go around that and everything like that, and yes, a lot of these practices are secret, you know, um, and, and to the individual, because that is confidential information, you know, because healing is personal. It's not for everyone to see unless like you're in the same sweat lodge and everything like that. But I mean, if you go in the past, like we knew we were doing that and we didn't, and there was nothing wrong with it. You know what I mean? And it was like very much, you know, welcomed to, to, to what we were supposed to do and what medicines go to what and to who and all this kind of stuff like that. Uh, but I feel like there's like literally a limit to how far an indigenous person could go spiritually. Like to outsiders and to even our own people, you know. And I feel like that's a huge part of the reason why... Uh, we still have a lot of pain in our communities and it's still, um, though we're more connected together now, you know, we're more in alliance, more, con you know, identifying with each other on another level other than just the powwow, you know what I mean? Um, have that camaraderie and everything like that. But like, it seems like the people who are only as serious, you know, about the spiritual aspect are the elders, you know, and it's like, it's, it's, we're losing that knowledge as each generation goes on. And, uh, wow, this is only 10 minutes. Awesome. I thought I was talking for an hour. Um, but I don't know. To me, I feel like that's the scariest part because that 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 i feel is literally what our ancestors did more of the time most of the time like 75 percent of the time you know figuring out ways to heal you know t mentally emotionally spiritually and physically like our medicine ways are really i feel like and our spiritual practices really are what makes us who we are, makes us um, how to how we identify as nations, you know, um, shows us the people that we are, not only to each other, not only to nation to nation, 
but to outside to outsiders and to also our own creators you know what i mean um so yeah i feel like to identify as an indigenous person it's spiritual first you know, to our own specific spiritual practices. That makes us who we are as indigenous people, you know. So, yeah, that's all I'm going to say and I got to say right now. Um, so, cool. Bye.